Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. I'm going to pass out these sheets, and these sheets all have problems. There's a sample problem. You have your sample problems from last night. You have your sample problems from the notes. All of these uh, sheets have ten problems on it. Uh, this group will do problem number one. I'll come by and pick up the, the uh, extras. This group will do problem number um, two. This group will do problem number three. This group will do problem number six. And this group will do problem number five. I'll come by and pick up the extras. I'm going to give you an allotted amount of time. When people finish, I'm going to have you switch groups to work with other groups. They will show you how they did their problem. You will show that group how you did your problem. Uh, you guys are going to lose a point over there. AJ, figure out what you got to do and do it. Your right, pencils shouldn't be on the floor, but on your papers. Go ahead, get started. Uh, make sure you fill out these sheets fully. This is nano coulombs. So you have to take out your reference table. Times 10 to the negative 9th. Yeah, there are all those micro coolers on that video. Thing. Yes, exactly. So in your video that prepared you for this. So this would be 8 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. Okay? Go around and, uh, and uh, get these guys over here. It doesn't matter. If either way it's crap. Well, I'm going to put it over everything. All right. You know, That's like fine with me. Different. So our Q1 would be the negative 43.2. Um, yeah. What's she doing, Chelsea? Chilling out. Is this your grade for the day? No, I didn't know we were getting recorded. Then our Q2 would be 22.4. What was that? Yeah, Matt. Yeah, it's yes. <laughs> yeah. I think. I don't know. Because it would make more sense. Wait, who's drawing the diagram? AJ, that's your job. Who's drawing the diagram? I'll draw the diagram. Good diagram. Well, it's basically just the, the <laughs> Man, I just love physics. How's it going? It's so much fun. You guys have any questions, or is everything straightforward? Oh, not, not yet. Want us to draw the diagram. Uh, how did we draw the diagram on our notes yesterday? With all those arrow things. We drew the diagram. Let's see what you're going to see. Like these? So are these... I didn't get the oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to go. You don't have to go full out with the field, but look at here. We had the uh, we had the notes here. A couple couple dots. Yeah. If they're larger, one's larger than the other. If they're the same size, they're the same size. If they attract, they attract. If they repel, they repel. Right. Then you would show like a distance between them if it's measured. Come on over. Yes. This question doesn't make any sense. Which one? Number five. Uh, glass rod rubbed against her hair gains uh, a negative 14 nano coulombs. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the electric force between the balloon and your hair uh, when the two are separated? So it's supposed to be your hair, not here. Where's the balloon? Uh, it's, it's, I guess it's supposed to be a balloon and not a rubber rod, so I apologize for this, for this typo. So, uh, the glass rubber rod is a balloon, okay. right? All right? It's a balloon, okay? Thank you for pointing that out. It's very important that we edit this, send it to the author so that they can uh, correct it. It's just so, uh, confused the heck out of me. Yeah. Mr. Noah would never make mistakes like that. You guys got a mule over there? Yeah. It's not an animal. We, we, we have a question. Question over here. Dude, I don't think. Oh, I know. Isn't that a great job? What's our pay? What is a mule? No, it's the little u, negative three. Where is it? Right here. Okay, that's not an animal. It's not a u. It's a negative three. Where is it? Right here. Okay, that's, that's a, not an m, it's not a u. to negative three. No, that would be a little m, is negative three. Do you have a reference table? 
Well, we told like them to get it out. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay, good. It looks like the you have a reference table. table. Yeah. So let's look at our reference table. New York State has given us on the front cover. They give us some symbols and what the uh, what the reference is to. Negative six. Negative six. Okay. So M is negative three, just like you said. Yeah. But this is a mu which is 10 to the negative 6. Right. And then the little n is a nano, which you'll see in some places is 10 to the negative 9. Okay? Noon? Yes, sir. It says 8.99 times 109. So there's going to be negative point is that supposed to be Yes, that's rounded, right? 8.99 rounded. That's 10 to 42. Oh, yeah. That's 10, it should be 10 to the 9. So we should, we should get an extra little positive Maybe, thing. Maybe a right, positive thing right here. Yeah. Okay, so we start a positive. You have some positive? Zero, yep. zero, zero, zero. Positive. Just kicking out. You guys doing okay? All over. Sure. Um, 6.5. Negative 6.5 news. Okay. All right, so when the Q two be the same. What is the question? For number six. Number six. A dog's fur is combed with a comb. Gains a charge of uh, eight nanocoulombs. What is the electric force between the fur and the comb when the two are separated? Uh, two point zero centimeters. Yes. So, so the conservation of charge tells you that if you take a negative charge from the dog to the comb, then you leave the exact but opposite positive charge on the dog. So one would be negative and one would be positive. So it'd be like. You can just say it was negative. Where did you get that answer? Oh, oh they're here in the that, charge? We put that yeah, down in substitution with units. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah substitution with units goes in. This is just the equation. You got an answer already? Yeah. You showed all your work with units? You got all the units in there? Very good. What's the unit at the end? This is, um... What's the... Okay, what's these units for? That's force. That's electrical force, so it's um, newtons times meters squared. Or kilos. Let's see if everyone agrees with your answer. Make sure you do the math yourself, just in case his answer is not correct. Yes, I do. Number is two. Oh, yeah. well, excellent. Very much. Very excellent. You guys are done over here. Well, we just got to check. And you guys are done over here. No, hey, what was your answer? I don't see anything as paper. It's oh, yeah. that. Isn't Greg? Here, I'm not going to write it unless I know it's perfect. The whole thing's ratified. I, uh, just a, no. No, it's uh, the whole thing. Why was he? Uh, you did something wrong here. Because it's R squared equals. You're right. I told her everything. That's my fault. There you go. That's good. It's good that you, that you got that. No one else has a calculator at this table? That's my, actually my calculator. We played those guys. Let me so. stay here. Nobody else has a calculator at this table? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you might want to double check. Work, you might want to double I'll check double it check. and make sure you get the same answer. Wait a second. 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 See, you might want to try it in your calculator yeah. now just to see if you uh, confer with that. Are you guys are done. Did you guys finish it over there? No, check and check and You guys got an answer yet? I got zero point seven. Yeah, I skipped it. That's nice. Oh, you do have an answer? Yeah, I got one point four four. Just trying to come to good sense. Or you can just put the. I did not get that. I got negative three point eight. I got negative one point four four. Do you all have the same uh, the same math problems up there? Yeah. And now all you're doing is uh, is trying to plug them into your calculator, correct? Yeah. Well, oh, I I still ha I use eight point nine nine. Can I say his is correct? Can I say that? Yours is close, but his is correct. Does that help you? Explain to them what you did. That may be different to theirs. Explain to them what you did and see if they can figure out what their mistakes were. Okay.
I used 8.99 times 10 to 9 instead of 9.0 times. Well, you see, now that was Mr. New's fault. I told him. Every day in the class, he used 9. Then I did negative 14, then I times 14 times 10 to 9. Yeah. Something that, yeah, divided by 0 0.071 squared, yes. Negative 3.495. Exactly. So, exactly. negative 3.5. It's the same answer. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <coughs> yeah. Just, apparently, my was more correct. Apparently. It's just yeah. more correct. Okay, we're done with this. <laughs> Not in the mood, Chomsky. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I can't see a brain. It's because I don't have one. <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay. So it's only really yeah, one meter. Come over here, Shumsky. All right. Is this, is this everyone's got the same answer here? Or you guys got the same answer? They're equivalent answers. He converted to centimeters. Why are you using my handwriting? Oh, so this is in meters? Excellent. Okay. Okay, good. No, that's fine, because it's, it's, it's right whether you put meters or centimeters, as long as you put the right units. Okay, so I have uh, one person from this group that did number one is going to move to this group that did number two. Do you guys figure out what your mistake is? I will we'll get someone over here. Maybe they can do this. We got all those cards ready. One person from this group that had number two is going to come to this group that had number three, and they're going to show them with the calculator. Bring, you guys better bring a calculator over for this group. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that was One person with a calculator from this group is going to need to come over to do this group, which is number six. And one person from number six is going to come over here to number five. And one person from number five is going to come over to group number one. And you're all going to help each other show what the work you did. And then they're going to show you the work they did so that you have two answers by the end of this time period. Go ahead and switch now. Go ahead, up. Someone from this group, up. Find a brain. No, that's all. Where am I going? If it wasn't a calculator, you wouldn't have the right answer. If the numbers are off, right. If the numbers are right, it should. All right, come on, let's go. Let's move. Let's move. All right. Are you guys ready? I am ready. I think. Hey, wait. Right here. Dude. Okay, so uh, ah, five, right. show you how he did we use the same equation of the F of left turn. It was uh, F of left turn equals <coughs> C is constant, uh, multiplied by Q1 and Q2, all over R squared. Without the paper. Yeah. Holy! Oh, oh, wow. Oh, some weird stuff. Okay, so uh, in the diagram explained uh, for question number three, we had a rubber rod which turned out to be a balloon. Uh, what you get, get out of this for the diagram is that uh, the balloon is covered with uh, electrons, so the guy's hair is pretty much. It look like a balloon. It's so awesome. So yeah, since you know that, you write that down in that variable box. You just use the and now you're using Coulomb's law, right? Yeah! Can someone tell me what that is? Yeah, this is very dumb. What is it? That. 
Do you start off the other lock here? Because we already know it, so. I thought the equation jumped in. So then, you know, fell is 87.3. Right? Yes. Now, what's K? Oh, it is uh, 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Yep. Explain to them and what do you multiply that by? Q1, Q2. One of you three to move over here and show them how you did your original problem over there. Okay? When, when, uh, when you're done here. I'm going to send you over. Just if I can interrupt you guys for a second. If you want to go back over there. No, go with Brandon. Yes. Yeah. Sure, I guess. It's your decision. What do you want to do now? Hey, you got the answer right. Why don't you move move? Okay, I will. Did you guys finish problem number 9? I know you were working on it. Oh, you did finish it? I so yeah, I have over. Point zero seven one meter. Yeah. Take one person from this group. Then figure it out, and you should have your. So you're gonna lose two people at once. You should have it. You're gonna switch up two people. So he already explained everything uh, to you guys. Now you're explaining. Yes. How's how's everything going? Does it all make sense? Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Good. All right, it's very important. You know, your answer is the same that you use 8.99 times 10. To you the forgot to put this. Uh, to the ninth. You think? Eight times. You got the same ten to the nine. Just use different. Oh. Since it's on. Um, yeah, go. Right so we know everything. Hello, sir. So you want me to move? Go. Kick out the minorities. Oh, Kick out the minorities first. Okay. I see a plan. Nomination. <laughs> Zero, 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 zero. Oh, zero. No, no, not, not that two, two, four. Two, two, four over. Isn't that all squared? Yeah. 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 This should be fine. Yes. You get
You guys, uh, Chris, you got the work from them? Yeah, I did it first. You're still doing it? Okay. Who's explaining it to you? We already did. To work on his own? Well, yeah, we explained how to do it. So you want to be a so you want to so you want to be a real teacher where you tell someone how to do something and then say figure it out. Yeah. All right, that's nice. I don't want to be a teacher. You didn't want to baby him. That's nice. That's nice. That's why. That's why this guy's got A right here. It's because he doesn't need to be baby. You guys got. Oh, so you're working on nine now? Yeah, yeah. That's what we got. Did you finish ten? Yes. Right, let's see. What did you get for ten? Um. No, I checked the. Negative Excellent. Point, blah, blah, Perfect. Blah. Perfect. Is a delta particle intrinsically positive or intrinsically negative? A delta particle? Mm -hmm. Two delta particles separated by blank in the magnitude of electric force between the charges. I don't know anything about delta particles. Oh, look it up. But uh, I would assume they had the same charge. Well, I know, but that makes sense because it's. See, now, really, if they're positive or negative, your answer is what the magnitude is going to be. And you don't need to know if they're attracted or repelled by each other. So. Yeah. Or whatever they are. Well, you look it up still. I'll do a step by You can look it up. Do you know what seven is? I think that's very, I think that's very exciting that you, you want to look up the charge of a delta particle. Oh. Yeah. Something that they never taught me. Yep, I got That I know I might have been sick of that. <laughs> yes. What? I typed stuff in wrong, I think. What's the right answer? Did, well, did he already oh, do they, it? Oh, they have it? Yeah. Yeah. Dog. What would I do wrong? Well, you would ask them. I said, let me see you come here. I'll do it step by step for you. Does he have the right numbers all the way out? I don't know. This is mine. Well, ask him. Don't, don't just put a bunch of numbers in a calculator and give it back to him and say, there's your answer. Ask him what he did, and then explain to him if he did something wrong. I multiplied 8.99 times 10 to the 9 by negative 43.2 times 10 to the negative 6, and 27.4 times 10 to the negative 6. Why 27.4 is 22.4? That's right. Oh, look at your paper. Stay here. Stay here. Well, my paper says 22. It looks like a 7. Are you guys are done? Yeah, it's 22. Did AJ explain to you his question? That might change things, too. AJ. You do number seven. You do number seven. It is time to know how to do number seven. All right, hold on. Uh, you know, the answer is physics is fun. Five and six. All right. Five and six. Five and six. I don't really care. I'll just hand it like this. 1.16. Oh. If it's a no. No. Yes. 1.157. 1. Actually, it's 1. 1.156881. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, victory. Over here. Because you have to be And then I'm going to send uh, one of you guys. You? Over here to the school. Thank you, Carly, for the enthusiasm you show. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, so these two groups are switching. You guys are working on this one. I need one of you three to come over here, and then I need one of you three, not him, to come over to this group right here. That's you, Andy. All right, so who's coming over out of you three? So you're going to explain both your problems that you've Both this my group. problems? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. He's got a lot more than two. And then you're going to, you're going to explain both the problems to this one over here. Okay? Did you guys finish? Yes, we did, dude. All right, so uh, I think it's 10, right? Question number 10? Question number 10? You're going to come over here. And work on question number 10 with these guys. One of you guys. One of the two of you. And then this uh, group, Wait, I believe after it's... after we do number five? No, no, no. You'll, you'll get that from someone else. One of you guys decide. I, yeah, I had, to break up, I had to break up this group right here because of the because we have a lot of numbers. And then Matt's going to come over here. I know he's working on a problem. Uh, Matt, you're really going to jump in right now. Start over so they can do this five together. I know. Um... So what you're going to do is you're going to go over your work, number five we're on, and then Matt's going to show you his work, and then you guys are going to show these two, and you guys will have almost everything done. Okay? Uh, just videotape this group. Okay.
I had to change the question if he goes, there you no sense. Okay. Okay, if he goes. I put a balloon is rough against your hair and gains a charge of well, 14 it's nanos. Yeah. What is the electric force between the balloon and your hair when the two are separated by a distance of 7.1 centimeters? Assume the charges are located at 8. So, first, the uh, K is 8.99 times 10 to the negative 9. Right? Yeah. And Q is... Will that be Q2 or Q1? Are they both the same? Uh, both the same. So, one so it's Q squared. No, no. Or one positive yeah, one negative? Yeah, basically. Okay. So, it'll be... One will be negative 14 times um, 10 to the negative 9. And one will be a positive 14 times 10 to the negative 9. And we need to find a force, so that's, we don't know. And our distance is 0 0.071 meters. Oh, this one. Or may, maybe, Greg, you're just bad at it. Yep, what are we doing here? So now you're number 10. So you write down everything you know. Suppose two equal charges are separated by 6.5 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. Did you forget your shape? You want to know what? Um, if the magnitude of the electric force between okay. the charge is 9.92 times 10 to the negative fourth, what is the value of Q? So you're using Coulomb's law again. So. No way. Surprise, surprise. They both are the same charge. That makes things easy. Yes, it's D squared. So you can just plug and chug and crank. That's a nice diagram. It helps if you try not to plug everything in. It's on the reference table. It's yeah. So you got to put that in there too. So how do you find the mu? You multiply. Okay. So you look on the reference table. And what is it? And times 10, times 10, 10 to the negative 6. I know that from yesterday noon. I actually did the math. Alright, I got Charges you have to multiply times 10 to the negative 6 because they were um, mu coulombs. Alright, and then the uh, it's 3 sig figs? Yeah, so, so it'd be just like that. See so where at the top what I did at the top of the equation? Yeah. Times 10 to the negative 6. Alright. Sure. By the way, you, did you use 8.99 or did you just use 9? I just used Of course. And it's, there, it's two ions, it's two particles. Yeah. Alright. Good. Alright, Yeah, work. Six? I have ten and negative five. Where do you, 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 you find it? Where do you find it? It's right on the bottom. This diagram is just like this. Negative six. Yeah, negative six. I got it. I put. I put the um. I moved the decimal place over. For the decimal. Yeah, you guys are right. Yeah. You want AJ? Wherever you want AJ. So this is what he's going to look like. He's got a uh, glass rod here. You got to hold it. Oh, I just brain it. Pretty much the same as exactly. six. Then. So because his balloon would be negative, and the guys here would be positive. That's just a diagram. And because we were dealing the same thing with you, as yours, it would be nano cones. 
so we will be in the computer lab to tomorrow. To Remember to bring uh, the homework you've had last night. You watch that video and fill out those sheets and your notes. Bring those tomorrow um, for your uh, computer lab. Mine's on physics modules, so that you have that for you. Okay? Your homework will be especially helpful. If you didn't do your homework last night, watch that video lecture, then uh, you should make sure you do that tonight so that you have a better understanding of the Minds Out Physics tomorrow, which will be all on Coulomb's Law. I did come by and see. I will collect it, but since it's such an important resource for you to have in front of you as you do the work, uh, I'd like you to hold on to it for now. Have a great day. Thank you very much.